Hi guys, this is Shin Papi of Axi Origin and I am gonna show you how I managed to win against Double Bloodlust and Pure Instinct uh, opponent. Uh, mind you guys, these are all epic runes. So, uh, let's go. And you can help me uh, reach 300 subscribers, guys. So, upon recording, I have 297 subscribers. So, please help me reach 300 and push a little more to 1,000 subscribers. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I had a good turn one and now his front lane is down to 150 HP uh, He managed to Lifesteal because of bloodlust. He's now up to 162, but I think Shall we I think we can burst him down because uh, I have cards on my back lane. My back lane is my highest damage or why? Because of Hearty Warrior. See, 87 damage. Oh, I don't think I can. He is left with 7 HP, but it's super manageable unless he uh, outplays me with his uh, Cactus outplay potential. It's a ton. Okay, so he uses Kestrel Initial. I am disarmed. My front lane is disarmed, but I think I'm gonna be okay. My front lane. Uh, would my front lane survive if he has another carrot or if he has a. Uh, Nemo, I would be in trouble. I would be in deep, deep trouble. Okay. My front lane survives. It gains. Uh, okay. Okay. I gained shield due to a leaf bug turn, but I'm down to 69 HP. Okay. And I don't think I would pull this off. I can uh, burst this front lane down. What I can do is just, just try to uh, deal a little more damage on his mid lane. Why? I cannot sustain my front lane. Okay. So his mid lane is down to almost half of his HP. And his back lane, okay. Although he got the initial damage bonuses of Cactus, uh, my front lane survived with a little HP, which... Uh, Led to another card and another energy consumption of the opponent. Okay. So if I am given, okay, I was given attack cards, enough attack cards to try to burst his front lane down. I think. Which would be better? Can I burst him down using a gill and a zero and a soul star? I think I can. Bang! Okay. 77 HP. It's auto kill on a soul star and. I am up to versus one axe advantage going turn eight. Okay, I think this game is ours for the taking, guys. I am uh, on my way to win against a uh, triple epic uh, rune users, which uh, is a double bloodlust and a pure instinct. Okay, and my mid lane survives, barely survives with six HP remaining, but my uh, mid lane is disarmed. So, uh, I am left with one card and I can't use that one card because of this arm. Okay, so I think he can re regen a little bit of his HP because he can try to burst. Uh, he will definitely burst my uh, mid lane and he can deal a little more damage on my back lane plus he can uh, regain HP due to Bloodlust and that's the power of Bloodlust and if another damage card he would his HP would be back up to 200 okay okay that was a secret card was that uh, Fallen Shield I think it probably is that's just sad guys <laughs> that's, that's terribly sad and I am uh on fragile because he's also a jerry user that's 40 percent less shield originally uh fallen shield would be 50 uh shields but i was down to uh 30 shields so oh my god will i survive that's a kestrel what's okay i barely managed to survive and okay this would be a win guys this would be a win. And that's how I managed 
to win against Double Bloodlust and a Pure Instinct user. So, uh, do you think uh, there could still be some improvements on our team? If you think not, just wait for it and I will show you uh, why I play the arena and uh, what I do when I have uh, runes, uh, moon shards, I mean. Okay, let's try to craft ourselves some runes and charms which would be useful in the arena and which would be disenchantable for the next season. Uh, which would give us a little more edge, right? Okay. Give me something, please. Okay, that's a calcium armor, guys. Do you think this would be useful on our team? This would make my uh, front lane pretty tanky. And this is a game where I will show you that's 101 damage, guys. And I will use my innate Nemo, which would give me 100 shields. So turn 1, I... I had 101 damage, I dealt 101 damage to my opponent, and as well as, I had 100 shield on myself. That's pretty convenient, guys. That's both offense and defense all at the same time. So, if you think Calcium Armor is good on my front lane, uh, please uh, comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Do you think Calcium Armor would benefit uh, with would be ven beneficial to our team to our front lane please give your uh, thoughts down below the comment section and uh, please like please subscribe uh, you can help me reach uh, 300 subscribers for the least and if you can uh, if you would be a little more generous you can share this video to your friends and uh, help me eventually reach uh, a thousand subscribers okay so going turn 5, I think we can definitely burst his mid lane and I think I shall. Okay, <laughs> that was on my part guys. Uh, his mid lane is on taunt. He he has a uh, taunt uh, play potential. He, jag, uh, he, he draw his aggro. Okay, what I'm gonna do is try to uh, gain a little shield. Why? Because I would like to sustain my front lane because uh, I still haven't have drawn my carrot on my front lane which would be really uh, useful on our part right okay okay so that's a summon if there's no more Nemo okay that would be it okay this is it guys so our plan of attack is I think confusion would Eliminate his mid lane, I front lane, and I will use a carrot and an inkling uh, to follow, which would deal damage on his mid lane. That's pretty decent damage on his mid lane, right? Okay, his mid lane is down to 90 HP, and there is no uh, heal potential. If I manage to draw a soul star, which there are two soul stars on my deck, because my card is gonna rotate back in, it would uh. It, I have a pretty chance of uh, okay well there was a heal I was wrong <laughs> that's uh, from hungry bird I think if I am not mistaken okay but I will I will eventually uh, eliminate his front lane any card combination will do as long as the important key here is uh, for me to throw my inkling why I would give it's it's better if I use my inkling so that uh, a Jinx card would be shuffled into his deck. And that leaves me with his beast on his back lane alone. And probably he would need two cards and two energy at least for the at the very least to eliminate my uh, mid lane. And that's one. That's two. What's his third card? Okay, that's a nut. Another nut. And that's uh, painful. It hurts, guys. And uh, on one on one, oh my god, there is the void. That was the void, guys. All we can hope for is for him to have a bad draw. Right? 
Well, if he has a very good draw, triple nut crackers, I would definitely die. Oh, okay, that's a chubby guy, 69. For energy cost, <laughs> 2 energy cost. Chubby is a 2 energy cost card, which deals uh, damage to all axes, but we are left on a one-on-one -on -one situation, which makes Chubby not a good card on one-on-one -on -one situations. Okay. And that's a win, guys. So, don't forget the, to click the like and subscribe. Uh, and... Your thoughts uh, on me having to craft myself a calcium armor. So, thank you guys.